Welcome everyone. I am Bamilbus. All right, we're in my uh, brewing room. Go ahead and uh, let's make a potion of of health. So let's see. We need some bottles, some glistening melons, some nether wart. We'll make it a splash potion. So we'll need some gunpowder. All right, let's see. We need um, yeah, we're gonna need some water. So let's see what we got around here. It looks like ooh, what's that? Hello. There we go. We have water. So as you can see, I am in creative and that's kind of the point of this whole thing is to make, uh, to show how I made this unlimited, uh, water supply. If you see, we put the, grab the bottles and this is unlimited water. We get as much as we want. So let's get through this tutorial and see how we do it. Um, yeah. So this is it right here. It's basically a T flip flop. Um, there's a button on the other side, and this button just kind of mimics it, simulates it by powering the other side of the wall. And what we're doing is the button powers the redstone, the redstone powers this repeater, and I put the glass in the build just so you can see that piston down there. The glass isn't required, but I just put it so you can see. When that repeater fires, it's going to power this block, Moment, and as soon as the block powers, it's going to extend that piston, but not before this redstone repeater gets a one tick pulse. So this repeater is going to give a one tick pulse to this piston, the sticky piston. And the sticky piston is just going to move this redstone block from between the two positions. So if the redstone block is right there, it's going to bring it in and pu pull it in and move it to there. If it starts out right there, it's going to push it out and leave it right there. And the redstone block, if it's behind the piston there, it's going to power it. And if it's not, if it's moved to right here, then it's going to not power it and the piston will retract. So once the piston retracts, then we'll be able to have our unlimited water. And you can see it right there's our unlimited water supply. Um, and so that's basically how it works. Um, there's other uses for this configuration um, for, for a T flip flop. And I, I didn't really do a very good job of putting these in order. I just kind of started down here. But you can see, you can use it for lighting, right? So there's the T flip flop built right there. There's a sticky piston right there. Um, you push the button and it turns off the lights. Push the button again and turns on the light. You could use it for doors, all right? You power it and the doors open. They're gonna stay open. If you want, you could put uh, pressure plates on the other side to close them after you run through. Um, we did the lighting. You can also use it for uh, effects inside your house. Uh, not there. I, I built the T flip flop up on the top here. You can see there's the T flip flop right there. So you can use it for effects inside your house. Push the button. Um, obviously lava fall, falls a lot slower than water, but if, if you had a bunch of these just for water in your house, then you'd have, they, they would come down together or same with lava. Lava is kind of cool because it also provides natural lighting. Just be careful. You don't, you know, walk into it and burn yourself up. And another cool thing you can do with it. Let's see. I put a bunch of dispensers here. The dispensers are loaded up with uh, various different fireworks. Uh, that's yellow, magenta, light blue, purple. Um, I, I think I put creeper heads down here at the end. Yeah. Creeper heads down there, different colored creeper heads. And the way this works, let me get rid of the rain. Nobody wants to see fireworks in the rain. Get rid of that. The way this works is I just built a clock right here, right? Just a simple little clock um, that gets activated by this redstone. The redstone's holding it on right now. So, but once I hit the T flip flop, that'll move this block out. That'll power the line. That'll turn off that torch. And once that tor torch turns off, this will start cycling like a clock. Uh, it'll be unpowered, so the torch turns on, the torch turns on, that powers it, that turns off the torch, so it unpowers it, that turns on the torch, so it powers it, just back and forth, makes a clock, and then I pull that signal down and send it to all those different dispensers. So, if we hit the T flip-flop, we should get a nice little fireworks show. All right, let's go ahead and turn that off. And there it is. That's the power of the T flip flop. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>